Greetings to you all. It's a pleasure to send you a message at the end of what I hope has been a really interesting and inspiring event. Friends, we know that if we are to tackle the threat of climate change and keep the goals of the Paris Agreement within reach and keep the 1.5 degree temperature limit alive as we are determined to do at COP26, we must consign coal power to history. At the same time, we need to support workers and communities by creating good green jobs to fill the gap. And there can be no doubt that the green energy transition is well underway. Wind and solar are now cheaper than coal in most of the world. Private investors are moving away from coal and all the G7 countries have committed to end support for international coal power and to transition away from dirty coal domestically to overwhelmingly decarbonised power systems. The Powering Pass Coal Alliance plays a vital role in getting that transition moving faster. So it has been absolutely fantastic to welcome new members today and of course to learn from countries' experiences as well and to hear them come forward with new commitments. Ahead of COP26 in November, the UK COP26 presidency is urging all countries to commit to phase out coal power, which, as we've heard today, is good for both people and our planet. Setting an end date for coal supports a just transition. Because if you know where you're going, you can plan how to get there. So I urge all of you listening who have not already done so to set phase out dates and join the Powering Past Coal Alliance. Because working together, we can consign coal power to history where it belongs. Thank you.